Hello and welcome to our instructional series of videos. Today we're going to show you how to upgrade the hard drive in all three PlayStation 4 systems, Original, Slim, and Pro, using the OWC PS4 Upgrade Kit. The kit includes a thumb drive for PlayStation software transfer, the 2.5-inch SATA drive you chose with your kit, a Phillips screwdriver, and an OWC Express enclosure to reuse the original PS4 hard drive. All we need for this upgrade is included with the installation kit, but if you're going to back up your data, you'll also need a USB drive large enough to hold all the information you want to save. We've already gathered our materials and are working on a static-free surface. Let's get started. Before we start with the installation itself, it's important to back up any saved data you may have. There are a couple ways to do this, but the simplest is to copy over just your saved game data. To do this, go to the Settings menu, then select Application Save Data Management, then Save Data in System Storage, which is basically everything on your system's hard drive. You can choose to either upload to online storage for any PlayStation Plus members, or copy to USB storage device, which is what we're going to do. For this, make sure you're using a different storage device than those that came with your kit. In this example, we're just going to move the Dragon Quest saves, so select that, and choose the last couple of saves you've made, plus any controls and settings as well. Then select Copy. This will be a really quick process since the data is usually pretty small. If you want to back up the entire drive and all of its contents, games included, you'll need to connect a large enough external device to do so. Sony recommends a drive that's formatted to FAT32. It should be a fairly straightforward process in Windows, but on a Mac there's a few things you need to make sure of. Open up Disk Utility and find the external drive you want to use for your backup. Select the drive on the left so that it's showing in the main window. Then click the Erase button. In the dialog box that pops up, select Master Boot Record as the scheme, MS-DOS FAT as the format, and then give the drive a name. You can now unmount the drive, disconnect it, and connect it to your PS4. Once you've connected your drive to the PS4, simply go back to Settings, then System, then Backup and Restore, and select Backup PS4. You'll get a warning about your trophies. We'll get to that in just a moment. For now, just click Yes. Next, you'll see a summary of the data on the PS4 drive. Make sure that Applications is checked, and on the right-hand side of the screen, you'll see the available space on the connected drive after the backup is completed. If everything looks good, go ahead and click Next. On the next screen, you can choose to rename the drive, but that's optional. Click Backup, and the PS4 will begin copying information over. This will be a considerably longer process depending on how much data you're transferring. Once your data is backed up, you'll be given a confirmation button and the PS4 will restart. To back up your trophy information, you'll need to sign in to your PlayStation account online in order to sync. Then go to the Trophies tab. Usually your trophy information will automatically sync like it has here. If it doesn't sync automatically, press the Option button on your controller and select Sync with PlayStation Network. Your trophies will now show up when you sign into your account with the new drive. Now that everything's backed up, it's time to shut down and disconnect your PS4 so you can swap out the drive. The process for removing the drive from the PS4 is a little different for each model, so let's take a look at each one. For the original PS4, you'll need to remove the drive tray cover by carefully sliding it to the side, then lifting it off. Under the cover, you can see the hard drive itself. 
go ahead and remove the single Phillips screw holding the tray in place. Then simply slide the tray out. For the PS4 Slim, you'll need to first remove the plastic corner piece that covers the drive bay. Then, remove the Phillips screw in the back holding the drive carrier in place. And use the pull tab on the side to remove the drive carrier. For the PS4 Pro, you'll need to remove the short plastic drive cover. Then remove the Phillips screw holding the carrier in. Then pull the drive carrier out by the handle. We're now ready to swap the drives over. While all the carriers are a little different, the drive is attached in all of them by four Phillips screws, so the instructions are basically the same for all models. First, make note of how the drive is positioned in the carrier. Then, remove the Phillips screws, and set the drive aside. Place the new drive into the carrier so that the SATA connector is in the same location and position as it was on the old one. Then secure the drive using the four Phillips screws. The drive tray is now ready to put back into your PS4. For the original PS4, slide the tray into the bay and secure it using the Phillips screw. Then, replace the top by setting the cover back on the PlayStation and sliding it until it locks into place. For the PS4 Slim, slide the tray into the drive bay on the side with the tab facing outward. Once it's fully seated, secure the tray using the Phillips screw on the back. Then, replace the corner piece by first setting the back end flush and sliding the cover over until the side piece locks into place. For the PS4 Pro, slide the tray into the bay and secure it using the Phillips screw on the underside of the tray lip. Replace the drive cover by angling in the corner edge, then pressing the opposite side so that it lays flat. Now that the drive is installed, we can hook the PS4 back up and install the proper software. The first thing we'll need to do is set up the USB stick from the kit so that we can transfer the firmware from there. Insert the thumb drive into your computer and create a folder named PS4 on the main level. Inside that folder, create another folder named Update. Now open your web browser and go to PlayStation.com. Once there, go to Help, then System Updates. Select the option for PS4 System Update then scroll down to the instructions for performing a new installation near the bottom of the page. Right-click and download the update file to the update folder you created on the USB stick. Be sure and save the file with the file name ps4update.pup. Once you've downloaded the file, you can disconnect the USB stick from your computer. Making sure the system is completely off, connect the USB stick with the update file on it to your PS4 system, then touch the power button for at least 7 seconds. Your system will start up in safe mode. Follow the on-screen prompts. When it tells you to connect a USB device with the update file, 
click OK as it's already been connected. Then, follow the various screens and system restarts to complete the update. Once the system reboots for the final time, you'll be taken to the initial PS4 startup screen. Just fill in the information it requests with all your preferences. At this point, your PlayStation is ready to use. If you didn't back up any data or saved games or anything, then you're good to go. If you did make backups that you want to restore, here's how to do it. If you chose to save only your game data, first make sure that you've reinstalled the game from its disk or by download, then go ahead and connect the device you saved to earlier. Then go to the Settings menu, select Application Save Data Management, then Save Data on USB Storage Device, and copy the system storage. You can then select the game data you want to restore, and select Copy. If you chose to back up your entire drive, including game saves and application or game data, you'll want to connect the storage drive you used earlier. Then go to the Settings menu, select System, Backup and Restore, and Restore PS4. Choose the backup file you created, then just follow the prompts to begin the restoration process. Once it's complete, your PS4 is ready to use, and you can use your old PS4 drive for additional game data storage or as an extra drive for your computer.